Have you ever wondered why your coffee sometimes tastes incredible and other times totally disappointing? Temperature could be the culprit. The secret lies in the science of how temperature affects the flavors in your favorite brew. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of coffee chemistry to unlock the perfect temperature for maximum flavor. If you're a coffee lover, hit that like button and subscribe for more coffee-licious content. Let's get started. Coffee's chemical composition. Think of coffee beans as tiny treasure chests packed with flavor. Inside those beans are special ingredients that give your coffee its unique taste and aroma. Let's unlock those flavor secrets. The acids. These are like the zing in your coffee. They make it taste bright and tangy, kind of like a lemon or a juicy apple. The sugars. Coffee beans have natural sugars that caramelize when they're roasted. This adds a yummy sweetness to your cup. The bitter bunch. These guys are responsible for coffee's signature bitterness. They're important, but too many can make your coffee taste harsh. The extras. Coffee also has a bunch of other things inside, like tiny amounts of healthy stuff called antioxidants. These are good for you. How temperature makes a difference. Imagine your coffee ingredients are locked up tight. The water you brew with is like a magic key. Here's how it works. Cold water. This key is too weak to unlock all the flavors. Your coffee will be sour and boring. Hot water. This is the perfect key. It opens up the treasure chest and brings out the best balance of sweetness, acidity, and a little bit of bitterness. Boiling water. Oops, this key is too strong. It breaks the chest and lets out too much of the bitter stuff, ruining your coffee's taste. Brewing temperatures. Think of brewing coffee like the story of Goldilocks. You don't want your water too hot or too cold. You want it just right. The perfect range. Most coffee experts agree that the sweet spot for brewing is between 195 degrees Fahrenheit and 205 degrees Fahrenheit, 90 degrees Celsius minus 96 degrees Celsius. This is the magical temperature zone where all the yummy stuff gets pulled out of the coffee beans. Too cold is equal, not enough flavor. If your water isn't hot enough, it's like trying to pick a lock with a floppy noodle. You'll only get a little flavor and your coffee will taste weak and sour. Too hot is equal yucky bitter brew. Water that's too hot is like smashing the lock with a hammer. You'll get everything out including the not-so-tasty bitter parts. Ouch! This makes your coffee super harsh and unpleasant. Why it matters? Getting the temperature right makes sure you have a delicious balance. The right sweetness. Finding what you like. Even within the perfect range, you might like your coffee a bit hotter or cooler. It's all about finding what your taste buds love. Drinking temperature. Did you know your perfect cup of coffee changes taste as it cools down? It's like a flavor adventure. Let's explore. Too hot? Ouch. Fresh from the brew, coffee can be scalding hot. Not only does this hurt your tongue, but it also hides some of the flavors. The sweet spot. As your coffee cools, magic happens. The sweetness shines, those tasty acids give your cup a bright zing, and everything comes together in delicious harmony. This is when most people find their coffee tastes the absolute best. Cooling off too much? Ever have a cold, forgotten cup of coffee? It's not the greatest, is it? The aromas fade away, the sweetness becomes harder to taste, and those bitter flavors can start to take over. It's not just science, it's you. Some people like their coffee piping hot, others prefer it a bit cooler. There's no one right answer, it's about what you enjoy. Practical applications. Now that you're a temperature expert, here's how to use this knowledge for awesome coffee every day. Choose the right gear. Different brewing methods have different temperature needs. A kettle with a thermometer is great if you want more control. A thermos keeps your coffee hot or cold for hours if you're on the go. Water temperature matters. Don't guess. If you can, try using a thermometer in your kettle to get the temperature in that perfect zone. No thermometer? Let boiling water cool slightly before pouring for most brewing methods. Warm up your cup. A quick splash of hot water in your mug before brewing helps your coffee stay warmer for longer. Don't forget iced coffee. Temperature isn't just for hot brews. Start with stronger coffee when making iced coffee, as it'll be diluted when poured over ice. The best tool? Your taste buds. Brewing coffee at different temperatures lets you discover what you like best. Is it slightly hotter for a richer flavor? A tad cooler for more sweetness? It's your taste adventure. Experimentation is key. The best way to become a coffee master is to play around. Remember, 
everyone's taste buds are a little bit different. What's perfect for your friend might not be your ideal cup. Become a coffee scientist. Try brewing the same coffee beans at slightly different temperatures. You'll be surprised how much the flavor changes. Taste test time. Take little sips and pay attention. Do you like the coffee better when it's brewed hotter or a little cooler? Is it too bitter when it's hotter? Does the sweetness come through better when it's brewed cooler? Become an expert on you. There's no wrong way to like your coffee. The most important thing is finding what tastes best to you. Don't be afraid to mess up. Maybe you'll try a brewing temperature that makes your coffee taste awful. That's okay. It's all part of learning what you like. Keep a little coffee notebook. Write down your experiments, what temperature you used, what the coffee tasted like, and whether you liked it or not. This helps you find patterns and recreate your perfect cup every time. Case studies are expert opinions. In the world of coffee, temperature is like a magic key that unlocks the true flavor hidden within each bean. Baristas, the artists behind your morning brew, agree that controlling the heat is crucial. Imagine cooking a delicate dish. Too hot and it burns. Too cool and it's undercooked. Coffee works the same way. One expert, Alex, a seasoned barista from a popular cafe, shares, Finding the sweet spot for temperature can turn an average cup into an extraordinary experience. It's all about balance. Alex has seen firsthand how a slight adjustment in brewing temperature can highlight a coffee's best features or hide them away. Let's look at a case study to see this in action. A local coffee shop conducted an experiment where they brewed the same batch of coffee at three different temperatures, 185 degree Fahrenheit, 195 degree Fahrenheit, and 205 degree Fahrenheit. The result? The coffee brewed at 195 degree Fahrenheit hit the jackpot. It was rich, with a smooth blend of flavors that were just right. The cooler batch was a bit sour, missing out on some of the coffee's depth, while the hottest one tipped into bitterness, overshadowing its natural sweetness. This experiment and insights from pros like Alex show how crucial it is to get the temperature just right. It's not just about heating water, it's about unlocking the flavor treasure hidden in every coffee bean. So there you have it. The next time you brew a cup of coffee, remember you're the master of its temperature destiny. Think about how those subtle changes can transform the taste. It's your own personal coffee experiment. Remember that ideal brewing zone? Use that as your starting point and then play around. Maybe a few degrees hotter adds a richness you love, or perhaps slightly cooler makes it extra smooth. The beauty of coffee is that you get to personalize it. There's no single right way to enjoy it. It's about finding the flavors, the aromas, and the perfect brewing temperature that makes your taste buds sing. Now go forth and experiment.